Welcome back to the Gusky. I am Gray, and today we have more Final Fantasy XIV for you. So we're gonna get started on this thing, the the Conjurer quest, I guess. We'll do that. I'll lump those in with the um, whatever the hell you want to call them, the main storyline, which I will go over and pick up uh, here in a second. Um, so basically this guy, just to give you a quick synopsis, he's all like, whoa, go talk to this guy and he'll teach you how to kick ass with the earth and shit. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much all I got out of it. Um, oh, do we have, do we have armory chesties? All right, we do. We equip that shit. Oh, look at that. We got a big yellow jacket on. Oh, yes. Hooray for Goofy. Oh, hey. Let's put that on. Now we got big ass oven mitts. Does, oh wait, it's like equip that shit. There we go. Yeah, we got some big ass oven mitts on. Woo, yay. And shit. All right, so we're gonna hop on over this shit and you wanna know something? I forgot about the ethernet. Yeah. I forgot about that shit. We can warp her and shit all around uh, the big cities. Fucking awesome, by the way. I do, I do like the fact that they throw this, threw this in there. I don't mind running, quite honestly, but it's nice. It's just a nice little thing to have in there. Like I said, I forget about it all the time. So the first episode, you probably saw me running in. If you've played this game, you're like, you fucking dumbass, port everywhere. If you know anything about me, I'm not much of a fucking portal jockey. I'm sorry. I, I enjoy traveling in video games. I mean. When I'm lazy and in some instances where jumping around and finding, you know, a portal, I'm going the wrong fucking way, aren't I? Jumping around and finding a portal to a certain location can be helpful. I'm just not a big fan of it all the time. So, yeah, like I said, I like to run. I like to run places. It, see, you, you gotta understand too, like, I'm. I'm an old, old school, like, R like MMO RPG. -er. I mean, I played MMO. Shows how old I am. I mean, I played MMOs back when they first started coming out. I mean, I played WoW when it first came out, you know, back in, what was it, 2005, 2006, 2004, something like that. Somewhere around there. I don't fucking know the exact date, but, you know, it's just, just the way I am. And back then, you know, you didn't have a whole lot of, Coral jumping and you had to go and travel and stuff like that and of course as I've said before I played Dark Age of Camelot before that even so um you know there's that all right speak with Galfred at the Bannock don't know what she was saying I wasn't paying attention I'm not gonna lie um quite often I just it's not that I don't care about story and all that stuff it's Sometimes I feel like I've seen enough of them. You know what I mean? Like you ever get that like some days you're like I've done enough stories I mean, I don't need someone else to try and tell me another story. You know what I mean? All right, we want conjurers guild because because we're gonna go do the conjure one first Even though that one's technically level five and the one we just picked up is level four I think Anyhow, I did um, I am level five in case you didn't, I didn't well, I know I didn't say anything, but in case you didn't pay attention or notice, um, so I did a little bit of extra leveling, and I've got some quests here to go ahead and knock out once we're done um, with this episode. Shit, which way do I go? All right, I always get turned around in this place. New Gridania, North Shroud. We're going to North Shroud, I think. I think. Yeah, that's where we want to go for this, the trial by Earth thing trying to remember where that guy was I think I actually have a couple quests yeah this that guy I got a couple quests to give that dude so anyway we'll go probably actually yeah I'll just go ahead and since I'm there knock out both of them I mean I believe one of them I just have to fucking turn in and then we're done so yeah that'll be that um there are a couple other quests I think over there too well Oh, you're one of the dragon people. Kind of don't like the look of those guys, by the way. I mean, they look kind of cool, but then there's some things that are just weird. Not really, not quite on board with them yet. I mean, we'll we'll uh, we'll we'll get to that later. I don't have um, Heaven's Ward 
yet. And from what, from what I can tell, and if you're interested in getting it or, you know, want to play this game, but not sure if you want to drop all the money to get both, and, you know, the, I guess, base package and the, and the thing, um, and the expansion, I don't think, now, I could be wrong, but I don't think that there's, I don't think that there's, um, we'll do this one first. I don't think that, um, there's anything that you can really, that, like, you really get at the beginning of the game. If that makes any sense for the expansion. I, um, I believe that all the content that comes get. With the exception, obviously, of the new race, which, you know, you can play if you want. But anyway, um, alright. Good. Tree Speak, Stables, and. Oh, alright. And cure some dirt, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, we are. Tree Speak Stables is like right up. They make it. They make it ridiculously tough to get to. They make you go all the way around. All the way around. Prime Rain. I'm sure that's not how you're supposed to pronounce that, but that's a strange name for an NPC. They do have some weird names, like, in this game. They're kind of all over the place. There's not really much of a... Much of a, um... Whatever you want to call it, like a theme. I mean, there are for, like, in some instances, but generally they're just... All over the damn place. All right, you gotta beat the hell out of this rock. So here, have some arrow and have some more rocks. So we're throwing rocks at a rock. Okay, wrap wrap your mind around that shit, huh? Anyway, um, I should mention. Ooh, we're kicking this thing's ass. I should mention. Um, I will probably go and do some stuff. Um, a little bit on my own, um, depending on how much time I have. I mean, obviously we're playing other MMOs as well. Um, and I'll be devoting more time to Lotro here soon. Um, but, oh, who are you? Do we turn in? Oh, oh, we turn in this thing. I'll turn this thing in while we're over here and be like, yo, bitch, give me my experience. I delivered that shit. But, um, I'll be devoting more time to playing these games and playing the characters that we're um, doing the LPs with outside of, uh, you know, outside of the game. Uh, most, mostly, mostly, hey, it's fucking raining like a motherfucker. That's awesome. It's badass. But, um, mostly because I'm actually kind of getting invested in Lotro um, now. As I've said before, I'm going to change the, um, change the character that I'm playing on that game and then, and then, uh, You'll see. You'll see. Like I said, I'm kind of having more fun with another character that I'm playing on my own and and all that good stuff. So here we are, some little nice little cut scenage. I like how the weather effects persist through the um, little cut scenes. I don't like your ears. They bother me. They bother me. They bother me. They bother me. All right. So basically, it's just like you know, the Earth. You can do damage with it. And stuff. They are very wordy in this game. I mean, like I said, it's it's easy to get lost in. And it's kind of, you know, and and I like that. Silphy. That's a nice little, nice little reference there. You're a creepy looking kid, though. Look at those eyes. They freak me out. Got the little Pinello haircut going on. And like, look at this guy. He kicks ass. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tuck down you, you like you're a little piece of shit. And you don't fucking pay attention to me. Ah, oh, they're studying nature. Okay. Oh shit. Just weird boots on. Oh, holy fuck! She just cured us all, and we're all astonished. See, I got the heels, bitch, she says. <laughs> I don't wanna. See, like, this is kind of a neat setup to have her as, like, a little retainer or a heel bot. It's like, 
Why don't you just be my little pocket healer? I'd like that. I'm not going to lie. I've always wanted, like, I've always considered, uh, you know, playing, like, having two accounts and playing two characters. You know, have two boxing or hot boxing, whatever the fuck they call that anymore. I don't remember. It used to be really popular back in, um, oh, fuck, back in Dayok. You see it every once in a while still, and then WoW, even though it, I believe technically it's illegal, but it is what it is. So, anyway, I've always wanted a, like, a little pocket healer. And I love games where that you have, like, little, um, little soldiers or, you know, little hirelings to run around and heal you. I think that's badass. I always liked that. I always found that to be a lot of fun. And, I, like... I don't know, like, I guess a pet class or something like that, you know? I mean, sounds, sounds strange to, to want something like that. But I've always, like I said, I've always wanted more out of a pet class, too. Like, having a pet that goes and does damage, oh, that's all neat and stuff. But, you know, having one that does, like, different functions that heals you and buffs you and shit like that. And I believe... The Arcanist in this game is a little bit like that. I think they have like little, uh, I think it's the Arcanist. One of these has like little little fairies that come out and heal or buff as well and, and all that neat shit. So I, I like I like stuff like that. I think that's cool. I mean, I don't know. Like I said, I've always liked the idea of having some sort of minion and stuff and all that shit to run around with and, and do cutesy shit with. But as I've said before, it is what it is. I'm not really all that concerned with it. But anyhow. Whee! So, um, I do have to say, like, the more I play, the more I play MMOs, the more I kind of have an appreciation for, uh, Rift and stuff. It's kind of weird. Like, in all honesty, the game was great, and the reason why I stopped playing, well, the game wasn't great. I'll, I'll, I'll I'll stop myself right there. The class system was awesome. The class system was amazing. It was really cool. I mean, you could do all sorts of cute shit with it. The races left a little bit to be desired. And the races were kind of generic and plain, and I wasn't really into them all that much. However, the class system, like I said, was great. And, you know, the whole rift system was good, but the reason why we stopped playing that game was because you got to, like, I think, tier 3... Maybe level 30 something and then there's like nobody around and the whole fun of the game was doing all these rifts and shit and if you can't do rifts in all honesty the game just was generic as fuck in my opinion i mean i don't want to do shit ton of quests without doing rifts i mean it's just that's just not fun but anyhow so this he's just nutshelling here and yeah that selfie girl is badass but she refuses to learn about crushing shit with rocks and throwing arrow spells at things. Which, if I remember right, that's pretty much the only spells we're going to get for a while, so... Maybe ever. Fuck. I know they get upgraded at some point. Which is also why I will... Um... Which is also why I will go and pursue other classes, I think. Oh shit, that's actually worse than what we have on. Why I will go and play other classes. And, um, on this character, I should say. I should mention. And, and um, try and get some of those cross skills and shit like that. Um, because those are, those are neat and fun. Fuck, what am I looking for? I am looking for this. I don't know why, I just fucking opened it up and like, no, nah, that's dumb. But anyway, by the, by the way, I did not realize that these guys could wear um, shields, have shields, wands and shields. I'm not sure if I'm going to like the wand, but we can if we so desire. All right, so let's go do the other main quest line. We have to go to the Bannock, which I believe is not North Shroud. Um. I, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Not paying attention. Not paying attention. Good lord. Alright, we need to go... Can I bring that up? Oh, sweet Jesus. Blue Badger Gate. That's 
I'm going this way, isn't it? Or not? I'm trying to figure out where we're supposed to go here. Uh, oh, fuck it. I'm just gonna go this way anyway and just say to hell with it and give it a shot. It's not the end of the world if we just go right back out the other way. Because I'm pretty sure that's pointing us towards those other quests that I have to do out there. Which are all over there in North Shroud. So we're going to go ahead and give this a shot. I think it's this way. Would make sense. I don't remember where Blue Badger Gate is. Are you fucking kidding me? Like I would remember the name of that. There we go. Central Shroud. That might be the other one. Damn it. <laughs> What quest? To the Bannock, Derision of Labor. You are both the same one. Okay, so you both connect to the same area, is that right? Now, is this gate over here closed to me? I think it is. Yeah. That's what I thought. That's one thing that, um, that they do like to do in this game. They like to mix high-level areas in with low-level areas. So, like, the central shroud, while there is a central shroud that is for low levels like us, there's, like, a portion of it that'll be, you know, ten levels higher or some shit or whatever it happens to be. That's just the way that they do things. Um, it adds, it does add, fuck, I could have poured it. It does add a certain level of, um, I don't know, excitement and exploration. You do have to kind of watch yourself. You know, when you go into new areas so that you don't stumble into that shit. You know, but anyway. It's not, it's not too... It is something to, like I said, you just gotta keep an eye out. Make sure you're paying attention. It's not just, oh, you know, it's only like a level 5, so and I'll be fine. And then you get completely destroyed by some level 35 monsters that are walking around. It does make, like, navigating certain areas a little more difficult sometimes. But it does, um, it does, like I said, it does make it a little more interesting. I do have to say, I, I know some people hate this shit, the way that this game is, um, instanced like this and partitioned. I've played with some people who absolutely hate this shit because apparently having loading screens and like this in, in between zones is like the end of the goddamn world. Personally, I have no problem with it. I don't understand how how it affects uh, how it affects your ability to like roam and explore. That's usually the 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 main argument that I get against uh, or that I hear against you know having these areas instanced and all that shit. And I just like I said, I mean, you can roam the whole damn area. It just gives you a loading screen to the next one now some games like neverwinter nights are absolutely awesome because what they do is they give you like they give you the ability to warp to the beginning of every zone which is very nice especially when you're you know on your way out and you just walk out the gate in the main city and it's like oh you just want to go there well you don't have to travel through all these zones to get there kind of like what they do with the ethernet in this game so oh shit we got clarence Clarence? I was almost calling it, almost calling it. Oh, Jesus. I was almost going to call it Clarence Stance. Anyhow. Alright, so oh yeah, so we're gonna get some of this um some of this uh what do you wanna call it? Uh backstory as to the calamity and how we have to protect people and all this shit. Alright then. Thanks for telling me that. Alright. Alright. So we're going to check some gear and see if it's ready to combat these bloodthirsty. Oh! It's one of these. Oh. 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 This will prove difficult um well, let's see here let's see what we've got already we shouldn't have no nope, no heads we have no heads we have oh shit how do we check what we got on um let's go here let's check this out all right 
We got that. You're level five. You're level five. You're level five. You're level one. Level one. All right. Oh, I believe what we can do here. Let's take a look at this. All right. We need body, hands, legs, and feet. Head, body, hands, legs, and feet. So we should probably go. There should be a vendor around here somewhere to talk to in order to buy shit from. Yeah, I don't care. That is one thing that's kind of annoying. They do have a decent amount of spammers in this game, and you do kind of get spammed with guild invites and all that shit. You know, if I was looking for one and didn't have plans and all that shit, yeah, sure, whatever. But, ah, there you are. Merchant and Mender found you, you sneaky, sneaky little shit. So, let's purchase some battle gear. Because that's, that's how we roll. All right. Oh, my lord. We need, um, you are all classes. All right, how much fucking cash? Holy shit, we have a decent amount of cash. So... A uh, leather eye patch. Oh, I love shit like that. Hemp and hat. We don't need a hat. We don't need a chess piece. What we need... We can probably go with something like this, though. But those are all level 8 shit. We do need... Uh, we'll go with that little... Wait. Alright, there we go. It's like, how do I buy shit? Okay, so leather sandals, leather boots. We'll go with this. And that should be just enough to get us in the door. Yeah, equip that shit and equip that shit. Neat little tutorial to be like, hey, this is how you do shit. Alright, what am I missing then? Uh, if I don't have... Gear of level 5 or above. What am I missing? Oops. That is not. That is what I wanted to look at. Alright. Did we not equip something? I have this strange feeling. Alright. Equip your head, body, hands, legs, and feet. Alright. That's isn't that, isn't that not what we did? Why did you not open? There we go. Your level. You're level one. Ah. Whoops. I thought that was level 11 for some dumb reason. All right, that's fine. That's what I missed. All right, so we'll go ahead and buy. What should we buy? I want to buy that. I want to buy that. That's what we're going to buy. Ka-ching. Motherfucker, that's right. Now we have ourselves. Nope, that's not what I wanted to click on. Equip that shit. Oh, fine. Get out of here. Now we can equip it. Alright, now we have ourselves a pointy hat on, and Golf Red's like, Okay, I'll take your shit now. Alright. So basically, we just learned how to put armor on. They do a lot of these kind of, um, you know, uh, what do you want to call them? Little introductory. So now we're, we should be getting into, you know, some of the, you know, meat of the real good halfway decent storylines and all that shit. Oh. So we're going to go investigate some Ixali shit. All right. Wonderful. Yep. Yes. You're clearly, clearly too busy to do anything, so we'll we'll take care of it for you. You you look like you've got a lot of a lot of shit on your hands, you know, looking at these guys and stuff. Uh, anyhow, alright, so let's go. My god, do we gotta go a ways away to get that done? Alright. Investigate life mend stump. So we're gonna go take a look at our stump. Go check out a dead tree. 
Oh, forest fungars. Oh, yay. Should we do that? Yes, we're going to do it. Should turn on uh, Cleric Stance, shouldn't we? Doesn't that sound like a bright idea? So we have our fucking cutting board on our... <laughs> cutting board as a shield. Alright. Hit him with that. Hit him with that. God damn. This game does not like you queuing up shit. I get a little... I get a little trigger happy with stuff and... It doesn't like it. It's like, nope. You gotta wait. You gotta wait till that little thing goes all the way around and then you can push the button. Otherwise, we're gonna be like, hey, fuck you. Can't queue that shit up. Alright, we're done with that now. We've got a little kill D done and we're good. Now we can head up this way and take a look at a stump. So, does that sound like fun? Sounds like fun to me. I like how they got these little, little alien head things. On them. I'm sure it's supposed to mean something. Fuck if I know what it means, so. I don't remember what this the li the little icon is supposed to mean either. It, it means something. Probably something like you're a fucking newbie or some weird shit like that. Roar. I believe this is what we're looking for, huh? This little glowy bit right here. Looks pretty obvious. Pretty cool looking tree and so. I like, the, like their tiny little stubby feet. <laughs> their big gangly arms. Magic it did. Blade. Alright, let's go pick up a pretty curvy sword. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, if your bat level is above 9, you will be synced. Okay. So we're gonna go do some crazy shit, I guess, huh? Did not expect this. Uh oh. Take it out. Oh shit. Sad Viking. Senses something is amiss. Look, someone's already here. Whoa. Who's talking? Ah! It's a midget. <gasps> oh dear. Is Animated pugilist. Where did you get the animated part? I'm 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 a little confused. Does it mean you're drawn or you're? Well, you got some hot pants on, so I mean, Jesus Christ. Short-tempered thaumaturge. God, Moogles are cute. What the fuck have you got on your head? How are the readings? Same as the last. There is a disturbance here as well. And newly manifested at that. Alright then. Yeah, please take the thing off. Seems convinced of your innocence. But if this isn't your doing, whose is it? The bad guys. Yep. Ever since the calamity, the forest's been really sensitive. The slightest disruption to the ethic mm. flow. Woo woo woo. Oh, okay. So I guess we, um. Oh, it's a bunch of angry trees. Alright then. Don't worry, I'll beat him off with my cutting board. It seems we have little choice. I want his monocle. I just beat him over the head with it. For it, rather. Not with it. How about I just take this sword? Ah, bright flash. Fuck off. Alright, so we're gonna have some... Uh, whatever is about to happen, I guess. Some little, uh, little instanced fight. Oh, okay. So... 
Alright, I guess I'll start casting and shit. I'm going to guess. Oh, dear God, that was badass. Fuck. I might be a thaumaturge in my spare time. Shit. I do like caster the uh, black mages though in these games. They they tend to be pretty badass. I just don't know if I can handle Oh my lord. Should have thought of that too, the fucking spell effects being just kick ass in this game. Should have thought of that. That would have been certainly uh worth worth watching. At least for me anyway, but yeah. And here we are, just casting stone on this stone. I guess this is the um. I guess this is the main, main bad. Oh, holy shit! Hey, fuck you! I don't like you. You two are bad. You guys handle that. I got this guy. I got these little guys, rather. Jesus, things kicking my ass too. Holy shit! That was a nice cure. Thanks, thanks, whoever threw that my way. Why are one of you? Why do one of you have cure anyway? Oh my god! Seriously, a bit annoying. So, uh, oh shit! Oh, is that you? Is that is that you, good guy? I'm gonna go boom boom on these things. Oh my god! Seriously, I don't think you could spawn enough of these fucking things. Shit, we might eat it here. I don't know what that is. I'm getting out of that shit. Oh, he threw a cure my way again, so I guess I guess we're okay. Yeah, I guess uh, we're a bit under leveled for this shit, huh? What do you What do you think? I do like how they they drop the thing on the ground, though. I think that's awesome. I, I find that much appreciative and. As opposed to other games, uh, you know, where it's like, Oh, get out of the way, <laughs> we're gonna throw away all your stuff. Don't stand in the bad shit. They give you some warning before it hits, too. Not just, oh, here it is, eat it. Alright then, we're done. Animated Pugilus and short-tempered Thaumaturge saved our asses. Well done, guys. Because God knows that was a... It's <laughs> gonna get murdered by trees. More like murdered by the little bulbs, too. It didn't even need the trees. Just two of the little bulbs would have kicked my ass. But hey. Oh, there's a fucking rock. I want it. Oh, I want that rock. Oh, picking up the rock. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Oh, shit. The fucking thing's floating to you. I have my mittens. I got mittens. I have fucking oven mitts on. The stone's hot. You just don't know. Oh shit. Nap time again. Look at those fucking mittens. Gotta keep my fingers warm. That's pretty cool though. That's neat. Neat shit. Neat shit to look at. Wong. Is my is my destiny revealed to me? Yeah, those words really are not making much sense. Oh shit. Bad things going down. I'm just sitting there like, I just no emotion whatsoever. Just like, yeah, that's neat. Yeah. Yeah. Can I go, can I go wake up now? I think you do pass out or something. If it's anything like the, uh, the other one, you like, like, oh, fuck, I just woke up. Crystal Vera. Yes, Galadriel. Oh, I'm gonna float. I am Hyland, all made one. All right then. Now you're making the sense. Light there once was that shone throughout this realm, yet it has since grown dim. And as it hath faltered, so hath darkness risen up in its stead. 
presaging in the end to life. For the sake of all, I beseech thee, deliver us from this fate. All right then. So. Go save the world, you know, it's just no big deal. You know, it's easy shit. Just go grab all the crystals and shit. Pretty simple. <laughs> no pressure at all, really. I mean, good god. Phallic symbols everywhere. This is where you're supposed to see like all the other quote unquote crystal bears or whatever. The other peeps. In other words, the other players. We're all little things. They do really do like their long drawn out shit in this game. They really do. Alright then. So we're gonna shine our light on all of creation. But doesn't that just sound weird when you say it, right? I wonder if <laughs> I wonder if anyone's like taking this shit like super seriously. Oh, it's a fucking wall. See, nap time. Took me a fucking nap. A servant of ether, no doubt. Whatever that's supposed to mean. And what have we here? Did you find that fucking rock? Oh no. Dead guy. Cool looking thing though. I'd roll one of them. Can I roll one of those? That they would venture this deep into enemy territory. The beastmen may indeed be acting under orders. Right. This is Papa Lima. We found How are we feeling then? It was an excellent Better? chieftain. Good. Yes, we'll seek Brother Esumian's cooperation in the matter. No. <laughs> Understood. Over and out. Yeah. They got some Kodak shit like straight out of Metal Gear Solid. Please bear word of these developments to Brother Esumiyan. We shall soon return to give a full report. That whack ass thing I'm gonna put on my head. Ha, <laughs> Kupao! Woo 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 woo. It is a fucking cute! Oh, one one. Alright, little guy. Little munchkin. See you later, lady. I think that sword might be a clue. You should definitely pull it out and take it back to the bannock. Huh. Pretty obvious as to what we were gonna do, huh? Yeah. Bye. I want his fucking staff. It's kind of badass looking. Well, time will have to, because you won't. You never tell me what's really going on. Unless you don't know what's going on either. 
Very possible. <laughs> You'd like that, wouldn't you? <laughs> I'm pissed, he says. Waddle, waddle, waddle. <laughs> yeah, I forgot the little Lala fell guys waddled like that. Like, like little penguins. Alright, so we are going to rip that thing out of the stump and run back to the bannock. And then we'll drop the episode right there because it's been a long time. It's been a long time. Magic it did. Blade. All right, now that we've got it. Wonderful. Let's turn our asses around and get the hell out of here. Ah, big. Hey, you guys are asses. Oh my god, they got all sorts of different arms and shit. That's kind of creepy. Like giant spider trees. A little weird, no? 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 Anyhow. Um. So as to what's going on in the game... Basically, bad shit's happening, and we have to save the world. Pretty much the same premise as in any other RPG you've ever fucking played. Um, it's kind of like this game really is kind of like a like a uh, combination of an MMO and a classic RPG, like I said, in terms of storyline. It's very similar to anything you'd get out of any traditional Final Fantasy RPG. You know, bad things are happening, the world's in trouble, we gotta go save it, basically. So. What did you discover? This. This. This slashy weapon. Oh my god. Okay then. It's kind of funny because you do choose a voice and shit in this game for your character, but they don't have any lines, I don't think. So. Oh, at least he told us their names Ida and Papa Yimo or Papa Limo or Papa Limo and Papa, 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 Papa. Papa. Yes. Yeah, I know how he knows who they are. It's like, oh yeah, those guys. Yeah, I know them. We have beer every week. Anyhow. Yay, we have now completed the chasing of shadows. Hooray for us. Jesus Christ. Alright, as I say, well, what do I have to hand in there? We are level 7 now. We are cruising. We are cruising cruising through this shit all right so now we have to go kill some stuff and remove their egg sacks that sounds a little excessive but anyhow that'll be next time if you made it this far on youtube you know what to do thanks a lot for watching bye now